Are we recording? Yep. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> what's up? About to do a Q and A real quick. Okay. About to get to know Miss Martin a little bit more. Okay. About to get to know your boy, Carly Smith. <laughs> what's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you or you've done? <laughs> Damn. We started it all like that. Yes. You already know. <sighs> See, here's the thing. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No bullshit, bro. I don't get I don't get embarrassed like that no more. You know. I just live with no regrets, you feel me? Mistakes happen. You know. Um, <laughs> okay, let's but, get to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, hold on, hold on. One of the most embarrassing things that's probably happened to me in my life. Back when I was like in middle school, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't even know. Go ahead. You already know what? I said, I don't even know. And I'm laughing. Um, <laughs> I was. <laughs> It was after like one of my classes. I was leaving the class, walking down the stairs where everybody was at, and I slipped and I fell and rolled all the way down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh no. And they laughed at my eyes. Oh no. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We still here. Yes. It's just in this. Get your ass up. Oh. Still rocking. That is, <laughs> that is middle school for you. So what's the most embarrassing moment for Miss Martin? I don't know. I've had plenty. But we'll just go to <laughs> the middle school one. So I decided to do something with my eyebrows. I wanted to, like, shape them up. <laughs> and I didn't use tweezers. I decided to use a razor, and I was in there. <laughs> I was in there. Shout out to my little sister, <clears throat> Sophia, okay? She was in there, playing around in there, and she bumped my hand, and half this eyebrow was taken off. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the worst part. I was trying to make repair to my eyebrows, and I used... Um, I use some pen. <laughs> I use some pen. You know you don't fucked up, right? No. And I was <laughs> somebody trying to help me too. And 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 P, they were like, "Let me help you fill it in with it." <laughs> I was looking crazy. Yeah, it never grew back. Like it's always been like not as full as the other eyebrow. I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> yeah, that's <sighs> it. <laughs> All right, your turn. <laughs> Are you sure, man? No, it's your turn to ask a question. Ask a question. Yep. All right. What's one thing you wish more people understood about you? Mm, that I'm not like. So I appear like shy. Like, but I would say like a more observant. And I think that it can also can translate as like maybe being rude. And I think it's, again, just because I'm observing people, trying to fill up people's energy before like I like open up because I know how that can like backfire. So I just be like, I wish people would know that because I think that would like bridge a little bit more of a gap between me and people. Like socializing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sure. That's sure. You want to answer that? <clears throat> What's one thing I wish people. Oh, wait, look. Hey, y'all see it? Go copy our merch. <laughs> yes, period. Support your boy. Period. Still our eyes out now. Yes. Go like listen. That. Go support Missy Martin. Thank you. Little girl, to drop that EP. I don't know it's about to be fine. <laughs> yes, so. it's coming. But yes, it definitely gets your merch. Yeah. Um, one thing I wish more people understood about me. Um, I think 
I kind of like <clears throat> what I've noticed about like especially like my music is I don't write a whole lot back. I kind of just reveal everything. I'm not afraid to be vulnerable and reveal about myself. Um, I I do think people. Some people have a different have like an idea about who I am or like they automatically assume about me. I think a lot of people just, I hope a lot of people just stop assuming things automatically just by looking at you, just by judging. Um, just get to know, get to know me first before you get to talk to the source before you form an opinion about the source. You know, I just, I don't know. I just think, uh, I just, I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. Okay, yeah. well, I have a follow up with that question. Since we talked about that, um, what was I'm gonna say my first impression of you, and then you can say yours. So, my first impression was <laughs> definitely that you appeared more introverted, more laid back. And then when I saw you on stage, I was like, damn. Damn. Niggas trying to stick me for my paper. Damn. So it's like, that's the same chill dude, like, but it's like a whole other, like, energy on stage. And even, like, after, like, getting to know you too, you are extroverted. He's hella funny. And he's, like, probably... No, Jakari is coming for like the R&B heads. For real, for real, he is. For real. He has in the tuck. Yeah. Um. Jeez. <laughs> Damn, I gotta find out. Oh, uh, All right. First impression, right? I'm gonna move this too. First impressions. I met Miss Martin. Oh, <laughs> my boy in the kitchen, Andres. Shout out. Shout out my boy. He um he was throwing this event called Aunt Day on um, that Four Native, the old Four Native spot, and he put me on the lineup. And <clears throat> Nisi was also on the lineup. Um and. <laughs> I'm rambling right now. I'm, I'm <laughs> the day came up, so I got there kind of early. Me and my boy Connor, we did our sound check, and in the front door, walks in Miss Martin. This <laughs> no, nah, for all right. So Nisi came in, <laughs> sat down. She's real quiet. She's sitting there by herself. I'm like, damn, ain't nobody gonna go over there and hang out, <laughs> hang out with her. Like, what's going on? So, I was like, I said, let me go introduce myself. So I got up, walked up, <coughs> and I was like, <coughs> I was like, um, Miss Martin, <laughs> stop the cap. I <laughs> know he did not. He's lying. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I went out and then I was like, I just introduced myself. I was like, my name is Jakari Smith. Um, I was like, yeah, I think we follow each other. And yeah, we just chopped it up a little bit. She's real quiet. And then she got on stage. And I was like, what is going on right now? <laughs> I was like, what is going on right now? I was not expecting that. Because she, she was super quiet, super. Super reserves. <laughs> <laughs> he is. <laughs> I was I was shocked. I was shocked. I thought you were like from the outside looking in, like when you first meet us, it can come off like kind of introverted. I guess and that's definitely yeah, definitely an issue. I was like, when she got on the stage, I was like, what? Is that the same girl I just met? <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this was always cool, always a vibe, always fun to be around, so. Same, same, same. Well, let's get into this one. 
Are you still friends with anyone from high school? Um, I mean, I'm like, I'm like acquaintances, acquaintances uh, I would say. Um, I don't really hang out with anybody from back then. I don't know, I'm just, you know, we just follow it like friends on social media, but not, I don't really hang out with too many people from my school or anything like that, but it's no bad blood, you know, with most of them. Some of them, if I see y'all, <laughs> some of y'all, if I see y'all. Is it on site? On site. Some of y'all did me dirty back in school. Y'all used to bully my ass. Mm. Now look at me. Now look at your boy. Popping. <laughs> Say that. Popping. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get my flex on for me. <laughs> I don't usually be flexing, but it's my safe space, so. Mm -hmm. right, me? Um, no. I would say no. I'm not friends with anybody really from high school. Like, I would say, like, maybe associates. No, I wouldn't even say associates. Like, yeah. like, but it's not even, like, a negative thing. It's just, like, we've grown apart. Instead of having, like high school reunions we have social media now so like we can always like keep in touch or see people like still have that type of attachment and see how people are developing as people mm -hmm. i feel like i can relate to not having like the same type of i say like respect as i do now than i did like in high school people are definitely um bullying me all the time. Was high school, bro. I can't. Yeah. Middle school was horrible. Yeah. Middle school was the worst. High school was yeah. cool. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like high, school, high school, for the most part, was cool. It was cool, for the most part. For the most part. But we passed that now. We grown now. We adults now. Yeah. And we thriving. So. Period. <laughs> Um, Dang, we're going into like inner child healing. Yeah, for real. <laughs> this is a, uh, a healing zone right now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. How do you react when you are upset? Mm. <sighs> it depends. <laughs> it depends. Because I feel like. I try now <laughs> to just breathe, but um, I can be <laughs> hot-headed. I don't want to argue, definitely, when I'm angry. Like, I want to, I might, I don't want to say I want to get the last word, but if I do have the last word, I'm definitely going to say it. <laughs> yeah, I'll say I breathe, I might be hot-headed. I'm, I definitely shut down. I'll definitely say that. I want to leave. That's my first instinct is to want to go. I want to be out. Period. <laughs> that's how I feel. That's my, <laughs> that's my energy. Like, for real. <laughs> but yeah. Light a blunt. Listen to some music. Cry about it. Sing about it. But yeah. What about you? When I get angry, <clears throat> See, what I've noticed about myself is that I'm very nonchalant. I'm very like, it is what it is. Um, I, I walk away like from a situation. Like, just, I don't know, I don't get, I try not to get worked up over things. I'm like, why am I going to stress over this? The only thing I have control over is myself. You don't have control over nothing else in life. So I'm like, I'm not going to work myself up or get you know, get overworked over something, over someone or something that's not, I have no control over It's like, just chop it up, move on, it is what it is, you know. Um, so I don't, uh, I mean, it also depends, like like you said, there is levels to it. It depends on what the person did or what happened, the situation. I try my best to just walk away from it. Like, I could care less, to be honest. So that's how I deal with stuff. In the 2023. Oh yeah, <laughs> trying to like address things right then and there is definitely the, the way to go about it, because mm -hmm. that's that's uh, like a a bad habit that I've had to like work on, 
breaking, like um, not letting things build up, because that's like what happened. Like taking things um, for like a while, and then it's like then it's time to explode. Like because I didn't took like all of this for this. Yeah, it's like no, you gotta say it right then. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you believe in giving people second chances, and why? Hmm. <laughs> I have given people second chances. I've done it before, and uh, I think. Everybody deserves forgiveness, but don't be boo boo the fool. Like, if they keep doing that same thing over and over again after you didn't explain it, after you didn't told them how you felt about it, and they just throw your feelings to the side, then move on. I like, move on like that. Throw that shit away. Just watch out. Be cautious. That's all I'm gonna say. I think with experiences, I feel like it's shown me that they. No, I shouldn't give second chances or second chances for what reason? Like second chances because maybe there was like a um, room for understanding between two people or is it because like you said, if it was somebody did something wrong to me, why should I allow them back into my life? Like I've had to like weigh whether or not I would want to be like in any type of relationship like whether it be romantic or friendship um based on if i felt like safe in that connection and that just means like on the basic level can i trust you and like at the maximum can i trust you with my life and if i can't do that like no i can't invite you back into my space knowing that i can't trust you in those t in that in that way like so yeah i think you just have to be mindful yeah yep facts <laughs> straight up facts man I guess you just walked in i'm not on camera right now you aren't you don't want to be on camera no, man. i'm sorry your favorite your favorite a and r your favorite chef your favorite manager no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, somebody, somebody, y'all go to New Kitchen's DMs and tell them to become our manager. Period. Tell them to become our manager. We keep trying to downplay the show. I'm slacking on my manager. We need some guidance. We need some guidance in this. We, run in, we, we all running around like who's booty out here. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, you got the most random shit. You want some cereal, no milk? You want some oatmeal? All right. What is your What is your uh, sign, and do you believe in astrology? <laughs> That's funny. What's my sign? It's a Taurus. Okay, that's my sun sign. Oh, my moon sign is a Pisces. Right. My rising is a Sagittarius. What's yours? All I know is Gemini. I don't, I don't know all that moon, sun, <laughs> rising, water, earth, fire. I don't know. Just none give of me your birth time. Huh? Your you birth location. I found this on Google, bro. Really? Wow. And and we'll figure it out. I. Nah. Somebody help me. <laughs> help us out because we got I'm a Gemini, y'all. That's all I know. Gemini, I got two sides. <laughs> Why did he get so quiet? I feel like we wanted to say something. Have you ever shopped with it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. It's a yes or no. <laughs> it's a no. Oh my god. <laughs> We're recording. What the heck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. All, everything is a prop. In this video, none of this is, none of this is, is it? Everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We would be like shut down. Yeah, for real. Well, let me see what else questions. 
I got a juicy one. You see one of your EP dropping. <laughs> like it's so studio time. Go on, you see you got a studio here. Dang. Then okay. Um, we need to hear some Miss Martin. I know. I, we do. Petition for it. Shoot. Let's see. What make what makes you laugh? Everything. What makes me laugh? Daddy needs. Yeah, this is getting cut out, y'all. <laughs> oh my All god. This is <laughs> All this is getting cut out. Applications. Cut out. No. Correction, that is me. <laughs> Daddy, what's wrong, bro? <laughs> <bruh? laughs> You're annoying. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's some chocolate cake. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go, let's go. It tastes good. That's my favorite sandwich. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> All right. Daddy, do it, do it. This is family, family friendly, bro. You gotta give me the copyright, bro. Do it. All right. Who was your first celebrity crush? My first crush, according to my mother, was Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, what is that? <laughs> what kind of goodness is that? You are very rude. Very, very rude. <laughs> 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 Your first celebrity touch was Michael Jordan? Yeah, and then... Uh, Damn, how old was he? <laughs> Michael Jordan was like... <laughs> <laughs> high school, early high school crush was Bow Wow. Right, if you know what I do have with my do my bow out do rag on period. I do. Shad Moss. It's uh Shad Moss. Uh, it's a one. Hey Shad Moss, Nisi's DMs are open. <laughs> no, it's not. That's wild. That is wild. <laughs> wow. Oh um, yeah. That's that that um crush did not go well. You ain't fresh as I'm is. You ain't right, you ain't right. You ain't yeah, bumping you been mad like I'm bumping. Like you ain't, you ain't fresh as I'm is. You ain't whipping, whipping. Tick, 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 No, wow, easy, boy. <laughs> yeah, but I have that on vinyl. For some no, you don't. I'm not playing. I do have it on vinyl. Uh, Y'all come get me. <laughs> You got fresh as I'm me. Like, <laughs> Most people got like thriller, purple rain. Like, she got fresh as I'm me. How much you pay for it? I don't know. It was years ago in, at Dimple Records. Yeah. <sighs> How about you? Go. Ready, go. Shade has always been my crush. Shade, if you if you watch this, if you come across this, always and forever. You talking about me? Um, Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. You don't know. I'm looking for somebody. I've been chopping here. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Good. All right, your turn. <laughs> Rita, what's your go-to dance move? You know, show me, I know you're gonna fit that one. I know you was. Hey. What's my go-to dance move? Let's get it. What is it? <laughs> what is step. it? You know? Yes. What? The step. <laughs> <laughs> that is my dance move. Hold on. Let me look at me. What she did. <laughs> That's it. Uh, <laughs> all right, back to you. Um, that your, was your question. No, hold on, hold on, no. hold on. That's my question for you, dude. What's your favorite dance move? Let's see it. I don't know the shoulder. I don't know. It'll be moving. Shoulder. My shoulders be moving. Let's see it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
can I? If, you, if y'all seen my reels, that's my go-to dance move. Me dancing that tiger, period. I'm gonna shoot. What's the worst date that you've been on? Ooh, years ago, my ex at the time took me to a sushi spot and we were sitting there and my girlfriend was talking like facing like the, the waitress and basically we're just like flirting the whole time with somebody they had dealt with before probably the worst one because it was a, a go-to spot too so it's like man why do you make it awkward where i'm trying to eat like that's one thing don't play with my food don't play with my Good vibe time. God, no Food is everything. Makes me happy. Mm. Love it. What was your worst date? Um, I remember. I had to pick. I had to pick the business out there. <laughs> but <laughs> this is actually messed up. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't say this. But <clears throat> forget it. Um. <laughs> We went out to eat, right? And we was uh, we was eating and having a good time. Everything was cool. And then we got into the car, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was driving. I started smelling something. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I feel bad for saying this. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. What happened? She couldn't stop farting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't stop farting, bro. I, I felt bad for even bringing it up because I'm like, I shouldn't put nobody's business out there like that, bro. <laughs> that was the worst, by far the worst show now. I'm like, oh, shit. I felt so bad. That's her texting right now. Oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Y'all. That it? I think that's it for right now. That's a wrap? Yeah. We could do another part where y'all ask us questions and we can answer them. Yeah, if y'all want part two, let us know how we did. You know, you know we uh, tried something different. You feel me? I want to do more than just music. I want to have like, more content out. Try different things, you feel me? Yeah. So, let me know how y'all felt about this video. We can do, yeah, part two, part three, whatever. Yeah. Make sure y'all go tap in when Miss Lisa Martin. And Jakar. Go stream, go stream, go support, follow, and get your merch. Get your merch. And yeah, we out. Love y'all. Yeah. Oh!